And we back! There are a ton of what ifs in NBA history. What if this player didn't get injured? What if this GM would have pulled the trigger on this trade? What if they drafted this guy number one instead of number two? There's a lot of them. But for me personally, per personally, there's one what if that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Let me cope. A failed Luol Deng trade reportedly prevented Chicago from signing Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh back in 2010. Imagine, imagine if LeBron would have went to the podium and instead of saying, I'm taking my talents to South Beach, he said, I'm taking my talents to the Windy City? Stop it. So, um, I I'm making this a reality. We're trading all day to the Clippers and we're bringing this victory to Chicago to team up with Derrick Rose and Joe Kim Noah. There's no way you can convince me that this team would run off four straight champions. And in Miami, they got two out of four. That's great. No, we're going four for four minimum. At least I hope in 2K. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's let's see this roster. Are we ready for the greatest team, the greatest collection of talent maybe ever? Like no exaggeration. Here we go. The starting lineup is exactly what I thought. What I told you. Obviously, this is the year that Derrick Rose became the youngest MVP, and now he's got the MVP overall with LeBron James, Wade, and Boston and stuff. Uh, Wade does have his number three for y'all wondering, and this is the real Dwayne Wade. Remember that one time he came to Chicago, and th that wasn't real. This is the real version of him. Uh, LeBron got his six. We can't give Chris Bosh his number, so he's got to rock with 11. The bench is a lot to be desired because in 2010, when they found out they weren't getting LeBron James, they pivoted and signed Carlos Boozer. They signed Cal Corver and Ronnie Brewer. Well, since we're using that money to sign these dudes, I decided to ship them to the other teams and stuff. Um, so <laughs> so uh, in this fictional world, the Miami Heat's best player is now Carlos Boozer. They also got Ronnie Brewer. So good luck, Heat Nation. Hopefully you kept your first-round pick for the 2011 draft because... You don't you don't have Dwayne Wade anymore. Look, you got Kawhi Leonard. Just be bad. Just be bad. I mean, you really got no choice. Um, so, yeah, the team looks really good. The bench has a lot to be desired. But when you have this type of talent, the bench probably don't matter. And y'all know we're going to get uh, Dwayne Wade. I mean, I'm not Dwayne Wade. We're going to get um, Ray Allen to sign in a little bit. You know you know how it works. Now, I don't control this team. And we're basically simulating until this collection no longer plays together. Whether that be Braun, um, D. Rose, Dwayne Wade. One of these guys completely going to their next team. Um... It's, yeah, we'll see. We'll see exactly how it goes. First game of our career together is against OKC, which is a fun old season opener. The script writer's doing it right. Derrick Rose versus Russell Westbrook is always a good matchup. Dwayne Ware versus Young Harden. I don't even know why Young Harden is starting. But you got Braun versus Kevin. Kevin said he's tired of being number two. And then Joe Kim Noah and Serge Ibaka. Like, that's a fun game that they're going to lose <laughs> by a lot. Yeah. Because LeBron was like, hey, in my debut, I'm going to show the world why I'm him. And I was a, a couple, one assist, one steal, three blocks away from a five by five. D. Rose said, hey, I, this this is probably Braun's team now, but don't forget that I still got that. Dwayne Wade's like, oh, I still joke him. No, I said, I'm going to play my part and get 10 offensive. So, come on, man. Come on, man. We definitely got to jump into a game or two or seven because I got to see this because the Bulls fan to me hasn't seen a really, really, really good Bulls team ever. I was born in 96, so I was... One, two, three years old last time the Bulls are really, really good. So I need this. I need this desperately. And we just lost our first game, 19 games into the season. And that was against Daquan Cook. Yeah. No, it was <laughs> it was against uh, these two uh, MVPs, future MVPs. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't think we were going to go 82 and 0 or anything. But, I mean, 81 and 1 seems like a, a possibility, I guess. There you go, Braun fans. There you go. You always say that Derrick Rose MVP is fake, and it should have went to Braun. Now it did, okay? Now, <laughs> Boogie, rookie of the year. Now it finally did. Um, yeah, the Spurs look kind of nice. Jordan Farmer looks kind of nice, too. We lost seven games in the season. The greatest team to ever be constructed. And Tom Thibodeau in his two-big uh, suit is, is the one at the helm. Won't you look at that? We do see LeBron James on first team, no second team. Dwayne Wade and Derrick Rose on third team. Derrick Rose's averages consist of 25, 8, and 4, and 21, 7, and 6 for Dwayne Wade. How fun. Defensive teams for two of our guys. Um, I, we got to watch them play. So the first round is against the New York Knicks, who don't have Carmelo Anthony yet. So this team shouldn't be very good. It's Amari Stoudemire, Rip Hamilton. Okay. Did Rip actually play that in real life? I don't think he did. He must have got traded throughout the season. Unless I'm forgetting a, a form of history. No, okay, so he did it. Um, he ended up being in Chicago in a couple years, but no, he didn't actually play there in real life. We sweep them. We go against Atlanta. I'm only trying to watch them play against a, a fun team. 
So like a Joe Johnson, Jamal Crawford team is not very fun. I think they're going to smoke these boys. But the next round does see Boston or Orlando. And both of those teams are good enough for me to think like, oh, we want to jump into one of those games. Specifically Boston. Um, but Orlando got that too because Dwight Howard was a dog. So Rondo, Ray Allen, Paul, P like this. Yes, yes, yes. We need one of these games. So, um, and we might see OKC in the finals because we're going to blow. We're going we gonna to get rid of this. This team ain't really on nothing. But I'm going to simulate until we get one close one and then jump in. We got a game. Three-point game to be exact. With about two minutes to go, the Bulls have the lead. Story of the game is Paul Pierce is cooking. Um, so is KG. Rajon Rondo doing his typical thing of getting a couple buckets, but ultimately passing the ball and getting a bunch of steals. On the other side, Derrick Rose is our leader right now. Um, Braun has five turnovers and five assists. Okay, great. Three-point game. They got a new little thing in the corner. What is? What are those things called? A new scoreboard look. All right, let's see what happens. LeBron James guarded by Big Baby Glenn Davis, I think that is. Uh, here's a screen from Omir Sheik. LeBron James gets past the Big Baby. He gives it up to Derrick Rose, who gives it up to Dwayne Wade, who gives it up to Boston. You see all of the people touching the ball except for Omir Sheik, because why would Omir Sheik touch the ball? LeBron James for three in his bottoms. Six-point game in favor of the Chicago Bulls in Boston. I think it's a 1-1 series at the moment, so it's not like the Boston Celtics are awful. Nate Robinson is getting off the bench. I think that's who that is. Uh, Paul Pierce is sitting on the bench. That's not my problem. <laughs> it's not my problem at all. Ray Allen off the screen. He puts the ball on the floor. Dwayne Wade say none of that. Dwayne say none of that. And Derrick Rose in the open court. Throw it off the back, the backboard. To, or just dunk on him. Okay. See, look, 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 look. This is this is this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. This is the first time I've used the um, replay system in a new game. Uh, it's a lot of things at the bottom here. I'm looking at this Derrick Rose with a steal and Braun over here. Why, why did the, one of the most athletic players in the history of ball decide he wanted to flare to the three-point line? Boy, if you don't die for a lob off the glass, windmill alley-oop between the legs, sham god, all of the moves was possible. But there rose his athleticism. Um, I'm also noticing something that's kind of cool, but also very funny. Uh, Nate Robinson sitting on the scores table, his, his feet not even close to the ground. So that's fun. I have a picture of Nate Robinson. He, 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 he looked taller than me. He looked taller than me. He wasn't. There's the, the alley-oop to KG. I don't know how that happened. I wasn't paying attention. It was Rajon Rondo, though. We can expect him to throw crazy passes and get away with it because he's Rajon Rondo. All right. A bucket right here is an extremely important bucket. There's a screen from Chris Bosh. Derrick Rose got the switch to KG, but that's not like a good switch because KG's like that. And you can kind of see that. Never mind. Derrick Rose is like that as well. Um, KG is one of those dudes that's like... We feel okay with him switching on to guards and wings because he's one of the greatest defensive players of, of all time. Would it be in eight points with 50 seconds to go? I feel like this is one that is uh, done, and I'll be correct. It ends up being a 10-point game. Ultimately, we see a LeBron James three and two Derrick Rose buckets. I, I feel like that's worth. That was a good jump in. We saw some greatness. We saw some team chemistry. Everybody touched the ball in that one possession that ended in a LeBron three, and we're in the NBA Finals to go against the Denver Nuggets. Melo versus Braun in the finals. Chauncey Billups back in the finals for the first time since 04. J.R. Smith don't even... Dwayne Wade got injured. Oh my God, Dwayne Wade got injured in one of those last games. Injuries are on. Joe Kim Noah was injured. That's why he wasn't playing. Fractured hand and a hernia. So now we have Antonio Davis starting. Um, and he's not good. I mean, we could... What could we do? We can't really do much, honestly. It's not, um, CJ, CJ Watson is not tall enough, so we're going to have to run with uh, Tonio. He's got 17 badges, though. Wow. Shout out to Tonio, man. I think uh, he's one of the commentators for the um, the Pelicans right now. Um, good defender. Oh, no. No, he, he's solid. He's really solid. He's really solid. 17 badges. We love that. First game in the NBA Finals is a Chicago Bulls win be because LeBron James is saying, hey, we're going to get this done. We lose game two. All right. Like, there is no Joe Kim Noah coming back. There is no Dwayne Wade coming back either. So Derrick Rose and LeBron are kind of have to carry, and they are down three games to one. Wow. Greatest team in NBA history potentially getting upset in the NBA Finals. Of course, it will be due to injury if that is the case. But a Finals loss still counts as a Finals loss. We jump in, man. We jump in. A Finals loss is still a Finals loss regardless of who's healthy and who's not. It's a series of unfortunate events that your best guys ain't here, but... You know. Oh, Wade is back. Wade is playing through it. What the heck? It's a hernia. It's day to day. So I don't know how many games he played the series, but if he's been playing this whole time and they still losing, oh, snap. So, somebody needs some. <laughs> oh, there's no excuse. And like, Joe Kim does matter, but like, 
Come on, man. Look at the guys. You know, Joe Kim does matter, but look at the guys. You feel me? All right, Derrick Rose down by one. Guarded by Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson had uh, a really cool game back in the day. Here's Derrick Rose. Get around the corner against Kenya Martin, and it is blocked. It is blocked by Kmart. And it's up to Aaron Aflalo, one of the fun names to say in the NBA. And here's Melo with his signature Jordans. I remember them bulky old shoes, but he got a lot of buckets in them, though. Tell you that. He's posting up the smaller CJ Watson. Post move is up and in. Three-point game. Melo taking advantage of the smaller CJ. And they are a minute and a half away from being NBA champions with, uh, uh, 13 years earlier than anticipated. There's no Jokic, uh, but instead it's young Melo. Derrick Rose is just a dog at finishing at the rim. All right, get a stop. Chris Bosh is almost 20 and 15, and yet he's on the bench. Why, Thibodeau? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, also, um, Dwayne Wayne hasn't touched the ball yet. Or Braun. Carmelo Anthony. He is actually really like that. Can I? Can't be surprised because it's Carmelo Anthony. Derrick Rose does have a mismatch. I mean, Ty Lawson's just so small. Get around that corner, dunk on him, and one. D Rose flex to do something. D Rose never had no emotion, bro. Do something. I mean, I know you're still losing, but this free throw puts you tied with a minute to go, and you got Chris Bosh back into the game. But they also got their starter lineup. So this, this is this is good. This is good, Derek. Good free throw. All right, one minute to go. Mira Sheik is the starting center of a team trying to win a championship. That's kind of crazy, but you know the Heat won some rings with like Joel Anthony and stuff, so it's not that crazy. Melo against LeBron and one. Carmelo and oh he's sitting this his house he's dead oh my god Carmelo against his homie Bron not, not, not if it was now if it was me bro <laughs> if that was me bro he wouldn't be able to get away with that personally you feel me he wouldn't be able to get away with that person but that's just me you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not in the NBA I'm not the one guarding her, but just knowing who I am he wouldn't be able to get away with that I would be calling for the ball right now but I guess we're different people we're different people D Rose midi off the glass and in Derrick Rose is crazy in there. Listen, he won an MVP, and I watched every single game of his MVP season. This is kind of crazy what they got him doing right now. All right, Melo does get fouled here. Are they in the bonus yet? They are. We're banking on Carmelo missing one, but even if he don't, it's still just a one-possession game. First one is up, and it is bottom. That was all money. Didn't even, barely even touch the net. Second one is also the same. Timeout Chicago Bulls. One on each side left. They got to drop a play. Who do you give it to for a three? Derrick Rose with the ball. Are they trying to get the easy one? That is not easy, Derrick. You just lost us the NBA Finals. We lost the NBA Finals. I thought, I, didn't I say they were going to win four straight? Well, Carmelo just iced it. <laughs> oh, boy. That's that's also my luck. I feel like that could happen in real life, too. The Bulls fans finally get something to cheer about. Super excited. Oh, we the best team in the league just to lose to Carmelo Anthony. Um, and LeBron still won finals MVP even though they lost in four. Or they lost in five, sorry. So, yeah, Bron doing Bron stuff, I guess. Anyway, we do not control this team. So, we're going to go straight to play progression to figure out what they use their money on. Uh, because what a disappointing outcome. For the team to win 75 games and lose in the finals, we still got the same team. Um, for some reason, the Wayne Wade is getting worse. And same thing with Chris Bosh. They s did not spend any money um, at all. Literally, didn't spend any money. Didn't, didn't use a mid-level or anything. So, Saint, run it back. <laughs> run it back. It's good enough. They just missed Joe Kim Noah. That was all. MVP award is staying home, but instead it is going to D-Rose, who averages 29, 10, and 5. He even shot 40% from three. This version of Derrick Rose is ridiculous. Kawhi Leonard does win uh, Rookie of the Year. He averages 24 as a rook. Now, it's in real life, it took Kawhi a little bit before he became elite, but whatever. Chuck Hayes is six man of the year. Shout out to Uncle Chuck. KG wins DPOY, even though he's 35 years old. He's still like that. Blake Griffin, most improved. We were, is this the same record as last year or is this better than, this is better than last year. Five losses. And again, there's, there's no, there's no shenanigans. Two All-NBA first. Oh, we want to see OKC. We want to see OKC in the finals, bro. Maybe we don't because we just lost last year. This, this team is so crazy. Three All-NBA players. I mean, defensive team sees Dwayne Wade and Braun. Like, we should be running through everything. We got Philly in the first round. What's this, Drew Holiday? I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, my God, I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting, like, like real flashbacks. Because the Bulls are playing against the 76ers. The year that Derrick Rose... Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just let's get past them, please. Thank you. All right, so we go against uh, Dwayne, um, Dwight Howard, who was just elite at this level. Th they don't have a ton outside of that. Um... 
Who did we lose to last year? Denver got eliminated in the first round. <laughs> Am I surprised? No. That was lightning in the bottle of them. You know, what they did was not sustainable. Brooke Lopez is out here before his three-point shot back to the basket. Brooklyn Brook. Um, I'm sorry, they're still in Jersey. My fault. So it's, it's Jersey Brook. And they got VC, the old man. He's just trying to get to the championship. Unfortunately, he's got to go through us, which is just not going to happen. And then we do get this series. Yeah. We do get this series. Kenya Martin makes his second NBA Finals appearance in a row, by the way. We do get this series. And guess what? Joe Kim Noah is here. Give me one of these games being close. Please. Kevin versus Braun. Westbrook versus uh, Rose. This is a perfect matchup now. Maybe it's not because we don't get it. <laughs> We've been about 20. It is a 3-2 series in the favor of the Chicago Bulls. None of the games have been close either way. So we're hoping that this one is close, but based on that first quarter, it's going to take a lot for the OKC Thunder to catch up. We get our first championship. We, we do. We absolutely do. Chicago, we back, baby. Oh, man. How great is that? The greatest team in NBA history beating the other Chicago Bulls team. Because what did they say? It don't mean a thing if you don't get the ring. So last year when we had the best record in the history of ball, it didn't matter because there was no championship attached to it. Now we got one. 70, what was that, 77 and 5? 77 and 5? Um, Braun is starting to get worse at 27 for what, again, for whatever reason. We still don't use the middle of exception to get anybody. So the bench is now worse this year because we lose CJ Watson. So that doesn't uh, bode well, but the talent is the talent. This confirms that it is Derrick Rose's team. Two, two MVPs out of the three. Anthony Davis is here and he's with the Phoenix Suns. That's kind of fun. Um... Man, I, I want to do a video where I go through all of this history. Uh, we lost 15 games this year, so we were a lot worse this year than last. But never fear, Steph Curry is here. Oh, my God. What the heck? Curry came in with the 23 on crazy. He fits his 98% from the free throw line. is ridiculous. But we do get the two All-NBA first team. Dwayne Wade is injured right now. Um, also, Brandon Jennings. Fun. Fun stuff. Uh, defensive team sees JaVale McGee, which is also fun. AC Peeler, which is an auto-generated player. And, and Donnie Page, auto-generated player. But still, there's a fun. Derrick Rose is going through a hyperextension of his left knee. Ooh, I get the jitters thinking about Derrick Rose's knees. And then, yeah, Dwayne Wade is out for two to four. Now, he might be back for the middle of round two if we can get there. We got the New York Knicks. Uh, no Carmelo Anthony. Uh, so, I'm not really really worried about the Knicks you know they say it's a rivalry but in this universe it, it doesn't exist the Brooklyn Nets are now a thing ladies and gentlemen and Brooke Lopez is still there but he's coming off the bench even though he is the best player they got Greg Oden starting over him as you can see but he's the guy dribbling the ball and stuff Derrick Rose got injured during that series and he tore his left hamstring okay that's that's something that happened um three games into the series and we okay so he just happened to win one game without him I don't even know who that new point guard is. Is it, uh, it was some auto-generated guy, wasn't it? Kerr? We got another Kerr on the team? It's Terrell. Terrell Kerr. And, y yeah, he's the guy. I mean, realistically, you should probably put Dwayne Wade there and then move, like, one of these guys over. D. Ryder. His, his <clears throat> um, next. We just got a lot of auto-generated people, man. We're not actually using the money. We're just drafting, which I guess is fine if these players turn out to be players that can play, but... I like names that I recognize. I like players that I know can hoop. And I don't know if these guys can hoop. We're down 3-2 to Brooklyn. And we lost because the MVP of the league was injured. The MVP of the league went down. It was like, what are we supposed to do about that? And then the OKC Thunder was waiting for us in the finals and we couldn't do what we were supposed to do. Instead, it had to be uh, PG-24 because this is before he changed his number to get there and ended up losing. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Um, what are the contract situations like? Did Derrick Rose sign his money? He did. LeBron... Wade and Bosch both, all, they all only have two years left. Joe Kim Noah signed money as well. I said we were going until one of them are on a different team, whatever that may mean. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, two years, we are, we're one and three. So one of three. One, not one and three. We're one of three, which is not good considering the circumstances, y'all. This team is crazy talented. But only have one championship to prove um, that. Oh, so maybe it is LeBron's team because he's got another MVP. Giannis is in Charlotte. That Charlotte team might be kind of nasty now. Oh, LeBron also get his DPO. Why? Wow. 70 wins is the squad. But yeah, I don't care about this. D Rose is injured for, again. Um, so that's no fun for anybody involved. Hey, Chris Paul is in Utah. Now. Carmelo's in Golden State. Uh, things, things are, things are changing. That's definitely true. Things are changing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, being one of three, 
Tim Duncan actually got to the Orlando Magic finally. Oh my God, it actually happened. If you know the story, you know that he was very close to going to the Orlando Magic at some time in his career, but decided to stay in San Antonio for the better of his career. But here he ends up getting there still. Um, so that's kind of fun, but the rest of the roster is kind of bond, so I'm not worried about them too much, even though they took it to six. All right, all right. We need another really good series. Uh, see, this is not it. Darren Collison and Donovan Payton. Auto-generated people are the best players on the team. Charlie Villanueva is a fun name to say. Shout out to him. But yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, I said that this Charlotte team is probably fun. They got Dame, Giannis, and Vooch. And Tyrus Thomas is actually really, really good. Oh my God, Chris Bosh got traded. Oh my God, they traded away Chris Bosh. Are they serious? How does LeBron feel about that? Chris Bosh got traded away for Tyson Chandler? Oh dog, that's insane. I mean, what is the spacing? At least Chris Bosh provided some of that. Joe Kim and Tyson being back in the Bulls jersey is crazy. Oh boy, I mean, they could still win it. The Clippers are in the finals with Eric Gordon and, oh, Luol Deng revenge game. What series? Bro, no way they traded our guy Chris Bosh, man. Championship, yes, but dang. Almost 40 points per game for Derrick Rose, by the way, and 13 assists, by the way. I mean, he was killing the game. But no, I'm so sad about that. It was going, I mean, maybe maybe they traded it because it, it wasn't going so well. We were only one, we were one and two in the finals. I hate it, though. Tim Duncan does retire. I'm not forcing anybody to stay that don't want to be here. Um, I do hate it. It makes me very sad. Now, I did say at the beginning of the video, it will end when one of the big three is no longer on the team. We just won a championship still, so I kind of want... Look at them! They look so happy! And then we traded them away. I'm going to keep it going just because we did win. Now, if we lose this year, then I'll say, okay, it's a wrap. But if we continue a win streak post-Chris Bosh era, then maybe it's just for the betterment of the team. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Fred Owens, have you been here? He has been here, and he was decent last year, and now he's really good. AK-47. See, this is what I'm talking about, having old aging players signed to the team to play a role. And we have Mar rookie Marcus Smart and young Robert, rookie Robert Covington. What a great draft. Marcus Smart went, what, fourth overall in real life? He falls to 17 here. And then Robert Covington, I'm pretty sure, was a late second or undrafted in real life. So... Um, what a good draft that was. And Jeremy Grant, what a good draft we just had. Man, this team has the potential to be good even post LeBron in them. Because Marcus Smart's going to turn into a player that's probably hitting 80. Jeremy Grant, we know, can hit 80. Robert Covington at his max was probably an 80. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but now it's back to Derrick Rose. They're just, they're just fighting over the award every single year. Um, and LeBron is co consistently being DPOY. We no longer are the coach of the year, so that's no fun for anybody involved. Um, Damon Giannis is really creating Dante Green. The Dante Green I'm thinking about made an all NBA team. He's a 90. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening I, now? I definitely got to do another video where I like simulate the entire thing because why is Dante Green really, really good? Like everybody else here makes sense. Rodney Stuckey's in 88. Wow, different timelines having players Ty, like Tyrus Thomas being 85 is crazy. This is Omri Caspi is an 85 overall player. Who the heck is Mike Bridges? This is all insanity. I miss you, Joe Kim Noah. Oh, no, 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 we traded away Chris Boss, not Joe Kim Noah. Um, this is all insane. I mean, it's so fun. I'm here for it. It's Nick Young, 84 overall. Uh, super fun stuff. So we were still really good. Um, we, we do, like I said, if we win a champ, we traded away AK-47. Nope, he's just injured and he's out for the rest of the year. We will keep playing till they lose. Um, and they need more championships because so far it has been underwhelming. John Wall and Kyrie Irvin are on the same team right now. Oh my God. Uh, sheesh. Luckily, we got Dwayne Wade on the roster, who's all defensive. What a crazy lineup that is. I mean, the rest of the lineup is bonds, let's be real. But the top two? The top two? Yeah, they're down 3 0. But the top two was crazy. And I, I, I think that team has potential. Speaking of potential, here's Giannis, Tyrus Thomas. Now they have DeAndre Jordan with Dame. No, this team is real now. They went from a team that's, oh, that's interesting, to like, this is a real, real roster at the moment. On the other side, the Warriors and the Nets, and the Nets, oh, not the Nets, the Suns, they have uh, Anthony Davis. If we go two in a row without Chris Bosh, was Chris Bosh the problem? That's so sad. 
We do? Wow, whoa, whoa. They have Carmelo Anthony now. Melo said, deuces to Denver. I'm heading to, I guess, still Oakland, right? They're in Oakland at this point. This team has four All-Stars. Paul Millsap is an All-Star caliber player. And then Busy, who's good. Oh, my God. Um, We're better because look at who's at the top of our team. But still, this is a team that's exciting. And Steph Curry had eight threes in a game. Now, Monte Ellis had six in a game. And Steph Curry fouled out. Didn't matter. Game three. Huh. Would you look at that? Everybody's healthy, too. It's not It's not like somebody got injured. That was the excuse in the first year. Joe Kim is just really upset. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be the end of the, it might be the end of the time. Both of them are upset. Both of our centers are upset. The big three is still a big three, man. They need to do something here. They need to do something here. LeBron even signed an extension. 3-1. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Brian. Now, in real life, you was one to, the only one to come back from down 3-1. Can you come back from down 3-0? Oh, it's never been done before. And it ain't happening today. Well, shucks. Um, you know, this is 2015, which is funny. Steph Curry, 2015. Um, this is super interesting to, to say the least. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we the last five seasons we've had an MVP. We've had four coaches of the year. We've had the DPOY with two times, two times the last two years, and we walk out with two championships in four years. It's the exact same as the, it's the exact same as the other. The Miami Heat got two and four, two and four years, and now with Boss being gone, and these two dudes being upset and all, feels like it's time. I said until one of the guys are gone, and we we went until they were gone. Now this team has potential to go back and win another championship in the future, but what fun is that if Chris Bosh ain't there?